Hello everyone. We have more spoiled cards from the set of Dominaria. Dominaria will be released on 21st April 2018. I'm reading a lot of comments from players that are hyping and are enthusiastic about the set. I do believe that the set is very strong. It's very attractive to new players, to old players and to current players. Today I'm going to continue my spoilers. We have quite a good number of cards that have been recently spoiled. And if you missed the other cards spoiled in this set, I'm going to leave you in the description below a link to my previous videos related to the spoilers of Dominaria. First card spoiled, we have Ellen, a cycle of lands, Memorial to Folly, it comes into play as stepped, it is an uncommon, it gives you a swamp, and for 2 and 1 swamp you sacrifice Memorial Folly and you return target creature from your graveyard into your hand. As I said, we have a cycle of lands, therefore we have the blue land, that if you sacrifice it, you can draw 2 cards, we have the white land, sacrifice it and you get 2 white soldiers, the green land sacrifices and you look at the top 5 cards of your library, you may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. And the red land, if you sacrifice it, it destroys target land. Icy Manipulator, this is a reprint. For 1 and tap, you tap target artifact, creature or land. Sage of Latinum, it is a human artificer. For one and one blue, you sacrifice, you tap, you sacrifice an artifact and you draw a card. Seal away, it has flesh. When seal away enters the battlefield, exile target tapped creature and opponent controls until sealed away leaves the battlefield. We have a reprint and a new artwork for Sarah Angel. Sarah Angel, it's a card that have been reprinted multiple times from the set, for the first set of Alpha. I like the first art of Sarah Angel, but I must admit that this art is particularly nice. Divest for one black, target player reveals their hand, you choose an artifact creature card from it, and that player discarded card. Tiana, ship caretaker, it has flying first strike. When a row our equipment you control is put into a graveyard from battlefield, you may return this card to its owner's hand at the beginning of next end step. This is a cycle of legendary creatures at the uncommon slot. Goblin Warchief, Goblin spells you cast cost one less to cast, Goblin you control have haste. This is one of those commander for goblins. Gito, Chronicler, it has kicker. When Gito Kroger enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, you return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Dauntless Bodyguard. For one white, you have a 2 1 creature. This is a very good one drop. As Dauntless Bodyguard enter the battlefield, choose another creature you control. Sacrifice Dauntless Bodyguard. The chosen creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Valdo Keeper of Flame. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, for each hour equipment attached to Valto Keeper of Flame, create a 3 1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste. Excite those tokens at the end of next end step. This is a strong card, especially for the modern deck Boggles. Tatiova Betnik Drut. This is another legendary creature at the uncommon slot. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and you draw a card. Also a very good, strong commander card. Nabandin of Iteration. If a wizard enters the battlefield under your control, causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger that ability triggers an additional time. Rona, Disciple of Jigs. When Rona, Disciple of Jigs enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic card. You may cast non-land cards exiled with Rona, exile the top card of your library. Also, another very good 
card as commander. Groon the Lonely King, this is an ape warrior, a legendary, it has kicker, and if you kick the card, it enters in the battlefield with an extra 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters. When Groon attacks alone, double its power and toughness until end of turn. You can imagine this creature with the constrictor that doubles and gives you an extra counter. Adelis Cinder Wind, it has flying and haste. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, wizard you control get plus one plus one at the end of ten. Bird Stuart Ogrepriff, it has vigilance and creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless it controls a space one for each of those creatures. Go slip prison, but you pay one. Chainer's Torment. This is one of the sagas. This card remembers a lot the artwork of Alien Covenant. It's also a very good saga. In chapter 1, chapter 2, you have Chainer's Torment these two damage to each opponent and you gain two life. And chapter 3, create an XX Black Nightmare Horror creature token with where X is half of your life total. Round it up. It deals X damage to you. Song of Relasia, chapter 1, chapter 2, until your next turn, creatures you control gain, add 1 mana of any color, and in chapter 3, put a plus 1 plus 1 cre counter on each creature you control, those creatures gain vigilance, strength and is destructible until end of turn. I believe that this card is one of the most strong sagas that will be played from Dominaria. We have a two-headed giant. This is two-headed giant, and when two-headed giant attacks, flip two coins. If both are heads, gain. It gains double strike. If both are tails, it gains menace until end of turn. We have Teshar Ancestor Apostle. This is a legendary creature. It has flying, and when you ever you cast a historic spell, return target creature with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to your battlefield. Yagmont's Vile Offering. This is, I believe, one of the most nice and very beautiful artwork in a card. And chapeau to Noir Bretley for this art. It is a legendary sorcery for 4 and 1 black. Put up to one target creature or prince walker card from a grave from a battlefield under your control. Destroy up to one target creature or so prince walker, exile, Yagmod Vile offering. Yaya's Immortal Indic Inferno, X to red, it deals X damage to each of up to three targets. Kamal Druidvo, X and to, to green, look at the top. X cards of your library, you may put any number of lands and or legendary permanent card to convert it mana cost X or less among them on the battlefield. Put the rest into your graveyard. For birth blade, it is an equipment. It gets a quick creature gets plus three plus zero, and whenever a quick creature dies, attach four bent blade to target creature control. It has equip three. Squee the Immortal, a legendary creature, Goblin. Yes, they put Squee at legendary now. You may cast Squee the Immortal from your graveyard or your or from exile. Siege Cake Commander, when it enters the battle, it creates three 1-1 one, one goblins. You can sacrifice one goblin at this to damage to any target. We have Territorial Allosaur, we have, yes, a dinosaur on Dominaria. It has Kicker. And if you pay the kicker, it fights another creature an opponent controls. Shyla, voice of plenty, flying. You, playing what cares you control and other creatures you control have hexproof. This is a very strong card and it gives you hexproof to you, planeswalkers and creatures. Mythics, Muldroa, the grave tide during of your up turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Darigat's Recreinated, it is an legendary creature dragon, it has flying, trample and haste, 
and if it dies, it is exiled with three egg counters. During your upkeep, remove one counter, and when the egg counters are finished, you can put the creature from exile into play. Lyra Dawnbringer, Flying, First Strike Lifelink, other angels you control get plus one plus one. And last, we have Karn Sion of Erza. This is the Planeswalker Karn. This is from the video, the trailer that we had for Dominaria. This is a very strong, colorless Planeswalker, and probably we will see a lot of play.